We all know that information technology is one of the fastest growing career industries in South Africa as research shows employment growth of overtech is 30% between uh, 2013 and 2014. Now, our Mandela Monday hero for today is an individual who is living the Madiba spirit through inspiring and motivating girls to learn valuable skills of software development and become leaders in the IT world. For me, the real power of coding is that it allows you to contribute to almost any field that you're passionate about, from healthcare to education. You can create technology to have a social impact. Two years ago, Emma Dix founded Code for Cape Town, a program that teaches coding and design thinking to high school girls, exposing them to opportunities in the IT sector. The IT industry is dominated by men, and what I want to see is young African women being the ones to define the technology that we use every day. And I think that the reason that we don't see women going into technical careers is because they self-deselect themselves based on misconceptions. So through Code for Cape Town, what I want to do is change a narrative around what it means to be a woman in technology. I want to show young women that coding is creative, that coding is powerful, it allows you to contribute to any field that you're passionate about, and that as women, we're more than capable of pursuing technical study paths and careers. Emma's goal is to empower the girls with skills and knowledge about coding that is also about finding or creating workable solutions to challenges. I've been in Code for Cape Town for approximately four months, since June, June and I enjoy CSS a lot because we get to decorate um, websites and kind of, I like doing that. Being able to change a color on your screen and pop something up. It's just so like magical to me. And I love learning about how all this, the science and the math behind the colors that you don't actually realize that these are all graphics and everything that goes into it. We've learned so much in such a short amount of time. And some of the things we're learning are stuff that people who study this in university haven't even learned yet. Code for Cape Town started with just one class, myself and a small team of tutors teaching, and now it's grown to having multiple sites across the city with different teaching teams running classes every Saturday. And for me, this is really exciting. We're now seeing a significant number of girls in Cape Town learning the skills that our economy desperately needs. Last year, Emma was one of the first South Africans to win the Queen's Young Leaders Award, personally presented by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth for the innovation and success of Code 4 Cape Town. I have a vision to see more young African women creating technology. And it's been amazing as other people catch onto that vision and are so willing to contribute to teaching young girls and equipping them with the skills that they need to become young innovators in our country. To be acknowledged as a Queen's Young Leader is really important for me because I believe that it shows the girls in my program that for them to choose a route where they want to have social impact, there is recognition in that. And I hope that it inspires many learners to have the courage to step out and take an unconventional path like I did. With her fun girl power approach to technology, Emma is helping thousands of young girls write their own code for future success in an exciting industry.